Julian said the funniest thing. He said, 40s are a killer. He said, but once you get past 40, he said, it's like 40 is like someone dropping a breeze block on you. But then after that, it's just like a few pebbles. But it doesn't matter because you've already been crushed. <laughs> you don't even feel 41 or two because it's just like dust. Dust particles after this giant fridge has been chopped at you. I was like, oh no. I'm quite surprised I made it. <laughs> Lord God, don't let you make a wish while you can. Did you take that by Big 40? No. Oh, God, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I'm trying to put it off. A little bit. I don't want to be like one of those fucking people like Cliff Richard, you know, who just tries to defy gravity. <laughs> Only being photographed upside down in a tennis outfit. <laughs> I mean, you're, uh, it's hard because you sort of feel like you feel the same. That's the problem. Mm. Go, I'm the same, I'm all right. But you're not. You look at pictures of yourself when you're 20 and you go, oh my God, who's that? And you know, you go, you are, you just look, so you are more innocent and younger. You're not as jaded. Something quite amazing about You never appreciate it when you're 20 and 30, but you should because there's something really amazing about how unjaded and how pure you are and then the older you get you, you start to know more. Someone said something quite interesting to me like in your 20s you're trying to work out who you are in your 30s you're trying to tell everyone who you are and then in your 40s you don't care <laughs> you just go like oh, I don't care anymore it doesn't matter does it whereas in your 20s you're literally trying to find out what am I what do I want to do and then in your 30s you're like telling the world I'm gonna do this I'm gonna be great and then by the time you get to 40 you sort of don't have to prove yourself as much in a weird way. And there are other things, you realise it's not all about that. It's quite funny now because I, I find, I catch myself enjoying things that younger people do, but, but also being quite pleased that I don't have to get involved in that, thinking, honestly, it's not that important, which is insane. I didn't think that'd ever happen to me. I've had a brilliant time though. <laughs> I've had a really good time and I wouldn't change anything and I've been lucky so I've had a really good time. I mean I you gotta laugh, and yeah. I mean it's weird because I sort of you just gotta try and enjoy yourself really because it goes so quick. It goes so quick. I can't believe I'm 40. Although you know, I went to art school and stuff and by the time I came out, started doing stand-up, I suppose I've probably been doing this now for about eight, seventeen years, eighteen years. 17 years maybe, maybe 18 years. Jesus, I've been doing it for a long time, you know? Me and June were talking about it, it's weird. That's why it's sort of hilarious when, you know, in a funny kind of way, you spend 20 years of your life trying to make people laugh and then it's quite a hard thing to do. I might just move into opera you know, or drama or something. You know? Half of me regrets not having a kid, you know, because yeah, because my dad was so young when I, you know, he was when I was ten. He was only 28, 29, So that's mind blowing. When I was twenty, he was only in his late thirties. He's my age now. So I've sort of had some brilliant years out of my mum and dad. You know, like, and also they were young and they were quite tolerant and easygoing and up for doing stuff. And by the time I get around to having kids now, I'm going to be the old dad <laughs> picking my kids up from school, <laughs> like a wizened sort of Ronnie Wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll be all right. You know, I do sometimes regret that, but I guess I was doing something different. My dad wasn't going around touring around the world and stuff. I had a really good time. But yeah, I sort of missed out on that a little bit. A lot of my friends have got kids now. So I'm really split. Like, I still want to go on tour and I want to wear silver cat suits and I want to... I think I'm an eternal art student. I still buzz off of, you know, finding a cool pair of sunglasses or, you know, making my own badges or something or getting my hair dyed blue. But I mean, I suppose there is a point where you go from being sort of cool to being eccentric. <laughs> then you're just a weird person. <laughs> that guy, <laughs> the kids go, it's that weird guy with blue hair. He's a bit weird, isn't he? He used to be on the telly. <laughs> he used to be funny. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to those years, like the Vivian Stanshaw years. Or Peter Cook, you know, when he was a bit older and he used to just glide about and sort of with a fag and yellow teeth, being funny occasionally, but not bothered. He wasn't bothered. 